for Creamer Media's Polity, I'm Ilan Solomons, and I'm joined by Cliff decker Hofmeyer, Construction and Engineering Group Associate, Bianca Polistrini, to discuss the recent case involving Hitachi and ESCOM and the ramifications the judgment has for South Africa's construction law. Bianca, please provide us with a bit of an understanding of this case and what the ruling means for the law. Well, I think the best thing to do is to start from the um, the initial matter that was brought to the South Gauteng High Court. It was a, uh, an urgent application that was brought by Hitachi against ESCOM, trying to interdict ESCOM from calling on a, um, a guarantee that was provided to ESCOM in accordance with a construction contract between the two parties. The contract regulates um, various works to be carried out at the Madupi power station. And um, ESCOM had various grievances with um, Hitachi regarding the way they were carrying out the works and wanted to call on the bond. And that is why Hitachi then brought this urgent application. Um, what transpired in the South Teng High Court is that the judge held that um, the interdict was granted and that ESCOM could not call on the bond because they didn't provide um, Hitachi with any notice that they would be calling on the bond. ESCOM then took this to the, South, uh, to the Supreme Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court of Appeal handed down a judgment on the 12th of September of this year where they overruled the South Gauteng High Court and said that in regard to an on-demand bond, no notice to the contractor is necessary. The employer in a um, construction contract simply needs to give notice um, to the bank who is providing the guarantee whereby the bank needs to just check that the um, requirements in terms of the bond itself are met and it may then honour the bond and pay out the employer. And that's basically it. Um, the South African established law uh, says that on-demand bonds must be paid on demand and that notice doesn't have to be given to the contractor. The only defence to an um, on-demand bond is that of fraud on the part or on the part of either one of the parties and as such the Supreme Court of Appeal confirmed the current position in South Africa.